Okay, we're going to try this one more time. Um, my name is Lydia Nahawel. Um, I look a little different now with makeup on and everything all ready for the big trials for the Food Network tonight, or actually in, in a couple of hours. Um, before I get on the train and everything, and um, I just wanted to share with you just for a few seconds of my uh, life here, I want to take a moment and this opportunity to thank everyone that has helped me get up to this point. I want to thank all the chefs that inspired me to keep on going and to pursue my dream as being a, a gourmet chef. Um, first chef I would like to thank is Sean Beers. Uh, he's an awesome first chef to work with and it was truly a blessing to be in his presence. And when he showed me how to cook and and um, he demonstrated and he'd always go through the steps and I go, oh, I... You know, okay, you do that for how long? And I remember writing everything down. <laughs> he never criticized that, and that was really cool. He never made me feel like um, I didn't belong in the kitchen because of uh, that I am a female. And I want to thank Chef um, Juan and Chef Jose and these two amazing chefs that I worked with at Española. Uh, very awesome people. They showed me how to cook Mediterranean food with a twist. You know, um, going to culinary school and learning there versus what it actually is happening at a restaurant is two different things. And he was, gosh, such an inspiration, you know. It's, it's, it's just awesome to be, um, you know, part of that. So I would like to thank um, my parents uh, who adopted me from Santiago, um, inspired me to always go for my dreams, you know, never give up, never surrender kind of deal. I want to thank everybody that I served with in the United States Navy, all my shipmates. Um, I don't remember everybody's rank because a lot of people stayed in, a lot of people got out, but um, when I was in the Navy at Harbor Ops, there was a second class petty officer named um, Rosenberg, and this man Every time that we had duty on the weekends, we would have these barbecues and he would share with me um, his recipes and, and how he cooked and everything that he cooked just was outstanding. Um, he was, gosh, he was such an inspiration, such a kind man, but whew, when he got upset, let me tell you, <laughs> and it usually is about me too, hmm. but he was a great petty officer and all, all the all the people that I have met along the way. Um, another thing I would like to say real quick before I got to catch all the trains here and trying to hurry up. Uh, I want to thank for the people that have really inspired me. Um, and that has to be the person on top of the list is Moses Martinez. Um, Chef Aaron um, from Aaron Cuisine. Um, Chef Aaron is a phenomenal human being. Uh, took me under his wing and literally took me step by step through all his recipes and just shared his passion with me. Very laid back, very cool man and, you know, I keep praying for him. You know, good things are, are happening and it's just awesome to be, you know, such good friends with such a talented human being. Um, and also Elzorelda, I uh, love you guys very much and thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done for me, with me, and for me. Um, I want to thank all the people that um, has helped me through the Veterans Affairs. Um, Dorothy, uh, Roy Brown from Vet to Vet, you know, all, all of my friends. Uh, There's a long list, and i got to catch the train. So I just want to thank all the chefs that inspired me. Um, the best advice I got was from Chef... Um, I'm going to mess up your name, Chef. Um, I don't even want to say his name. I'm going to mess it up. So <laughs> He's um, one of my friends that I met through Lieutenant uh, Rick, who is also in the United States Navy, um, who told me about the this competition period. And um, it was... Oh my gosh, he won Extreme Chef last um, episode. I, Emma Diaz. 
Thank you. <laughs> I feel so bad. We had a conversation before the tryouts and before today, and um, he told me, just be yourself. When you're cooking, just pretend that you're cooking for your family and your friends and just relax and chill out, you know? He's like, don't, don't make this competition more than it is in that aspect. If they don't like your food, they don't like your food, you know? So... And he also told me, like, all the stories that I have behind my cooking. He's like, Lydia, tell them everything. They'll eat it up <laughs> with your food. <laughs> so, um, in that aspect, oh, wow. Um, my best friends uh, that have literally held my hand through all of the, the madness that is Kareem, uh, Little Reem, Demita, Elsa, um, Claudia, Oh my gosh, Landy, um, all my friends from the USS John F. Kennedy, uh, Christina, I love you, shipmate. Um, all of my all of my friends from college, you know, I could not do any of this without the loving and the support of my sister and her husband and my little Vivi. Um, I hope I make you guys proud, you know, and I just want to thank you. Whatever happens. Thank you for loving me and supporting me. And I love you back. All right, let's catch the train. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I don't hope I don't throw all my breakfast. <laughs> All right, um, real quick. Um, most important thing to do, right? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. By kingdom come, thy will be done on earth that is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not on temptation, Lord, but deliver us from evil. Father God, I just pray in the name of Jesus Christ that I make you proud. For you are the only reason why I take breath. Your Son is the only reason why the blood runs through my veins. Please, Lord God, forgive me for my sins. And please, Father God, I, I just pray that I glorify you, that I make you proud. For you are the giver of all life, and you forgive all the sins of my life. Thank you, Father, for just allowing me to wake up this morning. Thank you for allowing me to be exactly who you want me to be. And I pray that in your Son's name, for the blood of Jesus Christ in my life, I pray for my community here in the jungle, in the hood. It's a very hard life here. But we can make it through. Our faith in you. And I know that you never forget your daughter. I had some scary moments. But you sent an angel to me. And I thank you for him. I thank you, Father. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's handle it. <laughs>